Hey guys, it's Lily. I am back to do uh, one more uh, part of my Ben's haul from Nashville. My girl's trying to jump the fence again. Ow, ah, ah. <laughs> She's ready to go to bed. She wants mama to go to bed past our bedtime. Um, anyway, so I'm going to do another section of this haul. Um, cause I don't want to put makeup on tomorrow. Um, by the way, I'm Lily. I am a full-time reseller on several platforms, including here on YouTube. So if you see anything you like, um, I do give discounts to subscribers. Just shoot me an email and I usually give pretty good discounts compared to what I'm going to list it for. So just let me know if you see anything that you like. Um, Again, I did get a few things in here probably for me or for Ollie, for Ollie's Kitizen. Um, and I got some stories to tell probably with every bag that I opened because it was, it was an eventful day, let me tell you. Okay. This is a Denali Los Angeles purple. I don't know if it's leather or not. Um... It's a laptop case. I don't think it's leather, but if I remember, I looked them up and it, it was pretty decent. But it's it's just for laptop. It's in excellent condition. It has some, um, I don't know if you can see it, just some indentations from things sitting on it. But there's no tears, no stains, no nothing. So that was cute. I'm very sleek. Great for just a laptop. First time ever I looked in the bedding section was today. And they weren't rolling out the bins like normal that I've seen the few times that I've gone. So I got bored and went to the other one. And it was just as bad today. So um, it wasn't the greatest uh, haul, I don't think. But um, still decent. Anyway, um, I got this Junior's sleeping bag, Ozark Trail, which is Walmart, but you know, it didn't cost much. It's just a youth sleeping bag, and it has a, like a blue uh, faux camo, camo print on it, but I don't think it was ever used. It looks like it's wrapped up me. Anyway, I'm going to wash it and see if Ollie wants it. Because he likes to lay around in the living room and watch TV. So, it would be pretty cool for him. I also got these Jane Queen New York European Shams. Still in the package. Got two of them. Let me just one out and show you because I thought they were really pretty. They're not my colors, but um, again, I don't think they were ever used. So they're the like 26 by 26. Um, they're really pretty, kind of a velveteen. They zip. Got two of those. I'll never get it back in the package. So, J. Queen, New York, European Sham, and I think they came from Dillard's. And I got two, like I said, new in the package. This one still has this cardboard. So they probably took it out, didn't like the way it looked on their bed, so it became Lily's. This I got because it was new, and um, I thought it was pretty neat. It's just one of those uh, dish towel drying things, a, a dish drying mat with a little rack that, that hooks to it. Um, and it was new, so I got that. And I don't do housewares. I don't really sell housewares, so those will be staying with me okay 
This is a fight. You know I don't do a whole lot of Bear Bradley, but when they rolled out the new bins with the accessories, the handbags and suitcases and all that stuff, I saw this and I immediately grabbed it. It is a Bear Bradley garment bag. Perfect condition. Um, just cute. Uh, so this is the interior pattern. It's got zipper pocket here. It's got another zipper po pocket on the back side, like for shoes. Um, perfect condition. So I grabbed that and with it was a huge duffel bag full of goodies and this is also in good condition and then some lady I'll be darn if she didn't take the purse that went with this <laughs> so I didn't get the purse but I got the duffel bag and I got the garment bag so I won all right so let's see what goodies we have in here this is a Paul Michael Embroidered Christmas towel for guests. It's just a really cute, lightweight, kind of linen guest towel. Brand new in the package. Doesn't have a price, but um, someone will buy it to put in their guest bathroom. And I saw this cute hat. I had to get the cute hat. It is something special, LA, and it's just got um, a little bit of elastic here, and it's got the the rough, um, like raw hem with the plaid. It's just so cute. I might have two pairs of glasses on tonight. But yeah, I don't know. What do you call these? Um, it's not a beret. I don't know what you call them. But. I don't know. I don't wear hats, but I like to pick up unusual hats. And I know somebody will like that because that is really cute. Speaking of hat, my son is making hats now that I am selling on Poshmark for him. This is called a flat cap. It's a baseball cap with a bill. Look at that. All of it is hand stitched, every bit of it. Absolutely beautiful. Um, he made this was his first one. I have it listed, and he's made one more, and he started on Ollie's, and he's going to make Ollie and I matching hats. So that's those are really nice. Okay. Yes, out of season. And it won't bring much, but it didn't cost me much. It's a cute little purse. I think they were selling for about $10, $15 maybe. Um, it were made, Target sold them. Uh, I know it has a name on it somewhere. Anyway, it's in really good condition. A cute little purse so I'll hang on to it or just put it in my closet and just let it sit till uh, till next Christmas <laughs> this was a pretty dress I have not comped these they probably not don't go for much but I was corset Depeche mode beautiful dress it is a maxi dress lined for spring, size 10. Just a really pretty, really pretty dress. Maxi. <laughs> I normally don't pick this brand up either, Rosetti, but I loved the tooling on the front of this. 
and it is a crossbody. It was in perfect condition. Um, it's got a little snap here for credit cards, zipper, and it opens into this compartment here with your ID here. And then it's got this pocket here with a zipper pocket there. And then a second one here with more card slots and slip-ins. And it will hold an iPhone, the biggest one. <coughs> anyway, not a great brand, but it is a cute, functional purse. Nowhere, really good condition. I didn't look this one up either, but it was new with tags. Um, cute wooden handle i believe it is leather it looks like it's got some color transfer um i don't know why because it's new with tags it is hot in hollywood is the name of it and it even comes with a dust bag hot in hollywood I'm sure it's going to bring a decent amount, but, you know, it is, it is brand spanking new. Kind of cute. I did find a men's Prada tennis shoe, but I couldn't find the other one. So, when I was getting ready to check out, I, I pitched it. Oh, this was interesting. This is another story. See, I have lots of stories. Nanette, Nanette Lepore backpack. Beautiful condition. But look what I found inside. What does that look like? Spread up tissue paper. And some other. I don't that I've ever used that color tissue paper. Anyway, it looks brand new. It does. It looks great. Let me tell you, it's no doubt it is leather because it's her, but maybe not. She might be one of those that um, do vegan. Beautiful condition, though. Man-made materials. Okay. So, it must not be leather. No, I don't think it is leather. But it's pebbled. It's beautiful. Except for that one little spot right there. There's no spots anywhere else. That's weird. Maybe I can fix that little spot. Cute little backpack. It's got a nice front slip pocket. Yeah. Nice backpack. Ooh, this one was it got for Ollie's closet. New Legends. Size 6X. It's a little swim cover. For a girl, it zips up. It has pockets with embroidery flowers. Yeah. And it's in really good condition. Just a little swim cover up, size 6X. So that will go on Ollie's closet. And then I liked this dress. Um, it's a lark and row. My hair is just a mess. You can tell I've been going since early this morning. Size extra large. Um, 
Larkin Bow. It's really soft. Uh, three quarter inch sleeves. And it's just like a sheath dress, but it is so pretty. Couldn't find a thing wrong with it. Another thing for Ollie's closet, BCB girl, BCBG girls, size 31. I will have to translate that, um, but it's just this cute, I think it's a shirt. So that will go in his kid is in. Oh, and I got one more hat. I think this is the last hat. Um, <clears throat> I believe this is New York. Maybe New York Giants. Very nice hat. Uh, 47 brand. So I think I think this was, might have been a good pickup. Not sure. Okay. Oh, and I thought this was cute. Koala baby. I just grabbed it because it was cute. I'm probably going to lot it up with some other things in three to six months size. But it's like, surprised. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was cute. I guess this is it. For this bag. Yeah. Okay. I know it looks plain, but it is a coach, a gold coach. I'm guessing this is a checkbook cover. Yeah, because you got your ID, your credit card slots, and this is, yeah, so I'm guessing this is a checkbook cover. But it's a coach. It's funny, a lady came up to me after I was talking to the guy about that Louis Vuitton replica, and she had a coach, and she's like, can you tell me about this? Is it real? She says, it says it's made in China. And so I showed her with my phone how to look up the coach um, handbags. And um, she was so grateful, and thank me and she got a beautiful coach um real color colorful signature c sateen it was a smaller purse but i mean they were selling for in the 70s um, but she said it was for her she's not she said she wasn't a reseller um but anyway it was a nice bag all right here is the big duffel bag that matches the garment bag now you can see it empty because it's empty um inside is in really good condition i kind of like the the pattern the paisley with the it's cute so anyway i have a garment bag and a duffel bag that match for traveling so those of you vera bradley fans um i have no idea what they're worth at the moment but i should by the time the video goes up all right well thanks again uh, for for watching and um, I know I'm not that uppity but I'm exhausted I just need to get a couple videos in that I can edit and get up over the next couple days so I don't have to put makeup on for a couple days yeah that's the plan we'll see how that goes but yeah that's it so again if you see anything you'd like just shoot me an email and um, we'll work out a price and I will have more to come at least three or four more videos and I will talk to you guys again soon. Lily out.